Yo, what's up, CyberArx here? Sorry about that. I just really love this song. Baja Man Rat, Rat Race. Alrighty, so let's get started. Today, I'm going to teach y'all how to... Let me go that down a little bit. How to upload your website online. Now, I know I'll, I'll, hopefully I'll get a lot of views on this one because everybody wants to know, how am I going to post my HTML files online? How am I going to put my HTML website online? As you see here. I have a bunch of HTML um, files. You know, I want to put them online. How do I make it possible? Well, I'm going to show y'all fun, simple, and easy, and quick-ish. So first thing off, you want to go and find your home page. You find find like your page one, number one, uno, the home, you know, casa, your page. All right, the first page everybody's gonna go to, and you want to rename it to index.html. Now .html, of course, is the type of file it is, but rename it to index.html. All right, keep saying that. Rename it to index. All right, and uh, but it's best to go ahead and just find your file and load it up and like load it up in notepad plus plus portable like basically open it and then turn around and click file then save as then you type in index.html and you'll have two um, home pages but you can go and delete the other one if you want basically that means that you kept your same uh, er all your content you kept it all in the same place you just renamed it without having to go in there rename it yourself like right click rename that actually won't work I mean it might I haven't tried it but last time I did it wouldn't work so basically what you want to go ahead and do is once you have it loaded up as index.html which is your home page we can go and get started click on the link below and you'll go to freewebs.com now it's okay um, it's all right, but it's the only place I know how to upload HTML files easily right now. So let's go ahead. I mean, I'll probably find some more, and when I do, I will let y'all know right, uh, right off the bat. So basically, once you've done sign up for webs and uh, you got everything done, you're verified and all that, go ahead and click on create a website. Nothing but a fat rat race. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing but a fat rat race. Oh, yeah. La, yeah, yeah. All right. Now, what you want to go ahead and do, sorry for the singing. I know you do not deserve this. But um, basically, as you see here, let me go ahead and enlarge this. But um, as you see here, this is your standard, you know, site builder. All right. Got your templates down here, next step, you know, and all that. You can name your website. Well, let's go ahead and start by already have a site to upload. Try using HTML only mode. Go ahead and click on that. Only thing you have to do here now is just put an a, uh, a site address. All right, and now this is only for people that know HTML. It's better that way and it's easier. If you just started, I suggest go back and use the templates to get a feel for it. But right now, go ahead and type in your site name. Um, I'm going to type mine as in cyber. No, 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 no. God bless us all. All right, and once you click down here, it should, as you see, it's red. Sorry, that site address is not available. So what you want to go ahead and do is just either cut down or, you know, just come up with a new name until it finally turns green, as you see here. Now, you want to go ahead and type in the verification thing. I think that's a Y. So I'm going to type this in. Let's get it on. Is a hot event and speed. All right, I got that done. So basically, you want to just either hit enter or hit and click on next step. Make sure everything's good. And if this is your first site, you shouldn't have a problem. That's going to happen with me coming up. But um, I can't go into more details, and I am very sorry. I wish I could, but I will explain it detailedly. Because, I mean, as you know me, CyberRox, I love to get detailed with y'all, and I want to make sure that y'all know it and y'all understand it. So here we go. We got select a pa uh, package that meets your needs. Now, some of it can be payful and pricey, but if you want to do this, um, like pro then I suggest you click on pro but if you uh, scroll down you'll see how much it is a month this is absolutely free which I have right now uh, this is uh, seven dollars and fifty cents and you got 16 which I will be upgrading someday just not right now 
But um, I'm going. Sorry, I was texting. Yay, iPhone. I'm going to click on free. But uh, real quick, as you see, it also gives you a list of what you can do that free people or um, free or enhanced can't do. I had to scroll up to see what the heck it was called. <laughs> All right, anyways, I'm going to select on the free one right now. If you know the words to this thing, let me know. Please, I am sitting there talking some kind of language, German. All right, but um, basically, you want to go ahead and click on that. Let it load up. I think that is German, actually. No, Dutch. Sounds like more like Dutch, right? Is it Dutch? I don't know. Leave a comment below saying what it is. Now, this is where I'm going to have a little problem. But I am going to tell you more about it. So, once you get this part loaded up, you want to make sure everything's loaded up. A little index file is going to pop up down here. And once that does, you want to delete it. Now, the reason why I had you name your file index is, as you see here, tip, to make your your HTML file, your home page, rename it to index.html. As you see here, they already have one provided, but go ahead and delete that. We're not going to be using it. We don't, have, we don't have no need for it, unless you want that to be exactly your HTML. Now, what you want to go ahead and do, if you paid for it, you can do the multi-file upload, but if you didn't, you're going to have to do a single file. So let's go ahead and get into it. As you click on it, you want to go ahead and search for your HTML file that you named index. Be happy. You want to go ahead and open it up. And then click on upload file. Now, what this is going to do is basically you're going to upload your file. Now, this is my problem because I can't do it because I can only upload so much. Um, so, basically, I can't do it for seven days. That's the only bad thing about webs. You can't keep constantly uploading stuff. My lover stands on golden sands and watching. Sorry, I know I should not put y'all through singing, it's terrible. But, anyways, once you have that done, you should see a file down here called index.html. So, basically, that's your home page. And if you have multi file uploader, good for you, you paid for it, you won't have troubles. So, basically, what you want to do, you want to upload everything your website contains. And what I mean is like if you have um, CSS, uh, texts in there, upload your CSS, upload all your images, all your CSS, and all your pages. And what that's going to do is basically this whole area right here is going to act like a, um, a big file. And wherever your index file is, just like on your regular computer, whenever you try to upload, uh, like whenever we would go in there and we would click on this and it would show our website that we made from HTML. If we were to click on page two, that would have to be in the same HTML file. Now, basically, whatever you put in here is like a big file. And for that, you need all your images and uh, all your stuff that you have. And sorry. Basically, uh, all your stuff that you have in this file. So, all in all, upload this whole file to your to uh, webs.com. And what that's basically going to do is upload all your content, all your pages, uh, you edit, you know, stuff like that. Images. I can't really come up with names right now. Anyways, once that is done, you should be able to scroll up. And it should give you your site name. If it don't. You could always just click on the HTML file name index, which is your home page. And once you do that, this is just an example. You'll see this very up top, which is in the address bar. Anyways, you can just copy that. And basically, that's your site address, your site name. As you see here, a little sneaky, they put webs.com. That's the only bad thing about if you are free. And as you see on my website, it has cyberroxinc.webs.com. And the reason why I have index.html.html because I named, renamed it index.html.html. So, yeah. So, once you have that done, again, you should be able to see it in the address bar. That is your website address, and that is your website. And if you uploaded everything right, you'll be able to see your pictures and everything like that. So, if we go ahead and click on one of my links in my website called Join Us, as you see, here's an image. 
and I have it all uploaded in the same thing, which you will see later on in the more tutorials. This is how to like you know apply for Cyber Rocks. You know, join me by all means. I really welcome it. If you could just make sure you fill out this simple plain Jane. You know, and um, basically that's how to upload your website online. And as you see on the you know on the title above, how to upload your HTML files online. This is how you put your website online. Now later on, I will probably come up with more uh, more videos on how to upload your file to different types of uh, um, of what's the name website hosting. Sorry, let me just go and turn this down a little bit. I want to make sure that y'all can hear me, y'all can understand. And um, yeah, this is how to basically upload your HTML files online. And how to ha actually have your website up and at them. And uh, most cases, you can actually go over there, click on your regular, just click on Web's Site Builder, which is kind of like a link to uh, basically your big control panel. Now, if we just wait just a couple of seconds, I want to do this in real time, no pausing. That way, you kind of get a feel for it with what I'm going through. Now, as you see here, I have multiple stuff uploaded. This is the newest one that I made, which is the example to show you what to do. If you don't want it, you can always just click on the little trash can symbol up in the right-hand top corner. And uh, basically, click on that, and another thing's going to pop up. And basically, you have the option to either give feedback, why you don't want it, and stuff like that. And as you see here, you'll see what. And you can put editing site is too slow, uh, too much downtime. You know, you can check it all, whatever. Leave another, leave a comment. But you need to type in your password that you... Uh, uh, basically, your um, webs.com password. Then you go ahead and click on delete site or hit enter. It's up to you. Um, whichever one's quick and easy. I always hit enter because I can hit that bam right off the bat. You know, password bam, enter. You know, stuff like that. But uh, basically, yeah, that's that. So as you see here, this is my control panel for two sites I have. Now, if you see this, um, webs um, right here, page is not found. That's because webs doesn't really recognize or does not know what your um, what your address is. Because as you see here, there's no index.html because it's, it's kind of acting weird. But if you just have the a address to your um, first thing, which is the index, then you pretty much have your site. Kind of a little cheap shortcut, if you will. Um, but yeah, there's also, I have another site called Example Sites. You can get there only through my site, and you'll see like example sites of what I can do. It basically goes through what I can and cannot do. So yeah, that's basically how to put your website up online. And uh, very quick, simple, and easy. If you have any comments or any questions, Please, I beg of you, let me know. I will be the first to help you as soon as I can. It feels nice to actually have people that want help. But uh, thank you for watching this long video of CyberOx. And uh, as usual and as always, God bless y'all. Thank you for watching Cyber to the Ox. Okay, that was the name. I'm just going to leave off saying live long and prosper.